Welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. I'm Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And our buddy Deep Freight, man, he is killing it this year. And we got table saw news coming at you from Harbor Freight. I'm not going to tease you anymore on this because this is huge, just huge, huge news, if you will. Anyway, 10 inch, I know you're like, oh, it's a Hercules table saw. We've seen this, seen this before. Uh uh, not this one. You haven't. Take a closer look. That is a 10 inch compact job site table saw with rack and pinion fence, a la the DeWalt and the Matabo HPT. I'm not sure which style it's going to follow or if they found their new way around it. Because here's the thing almost, almost all those rack and pinion style fences are patented. So the only way to get around it is to get a license from that. And Stanley Black and Decker hates Harbor Freight. I don't know about Matabo, what their feelings are about it. I don't know how they got the patent or the access to this or the workaround or what. This is magic as far as I'm concerned. Dark sorcery that they managed to get this out. I am stunned. Now, I will be honest. I've said this many a time. The bear here, I'm not a huge fan of the rack and pinion system. But, you know, for a job site saw, I can see it, you know. I'm I'm an old school bear used to the standard, you know, traditional Besmir or whatever, the, however you pronounce it, T-square style fence. That's what I like. But you know what? I know a lot of you love this style of fence. It makes it super easy for a lot of you guys who are just getting into woodworking or, or building stuff. You can just dial it right in. I get it. And I can't believe that Harbor Freight is coming out with a new version of the Hercules. They're just slipping things by the bear left and right. This one almost made it to the store before I even heard about it. But luckily, Agent Deep Freight has got our back. If you look, this even has a different style fence on it. It's got the flip over style like we've seen on the DeWalt and the HPT. This is an incredible setup here. I cannot believe that this is coming out. I... Maybe it's a Photoshop. I don't know, but I'm stunned. We'll have to wait and see what else may be coming down the pipe. Now, as I remember, the they've had, this is, of course, you know, Harbor Freight likes to do their good, better, best. And, of course, the Hercules is in the best class. And we've had the 10-inch compact job site saw from them for some time. I have this saw. They sent it to me a couple years ago. I think it's a great saw. I was really happy with it. I'm stunned to see them going this route and adding yet another saw to the lineup. Will this replace the other saw? Will there be a choice between the two? I don't know at this time. We don't have the information. I put an email out to Harbor Freight. I'm waiting to hear back uh, on it, but uh, I wasn't going to, you know, let this lie sleeping and not let you know what's coming up. Uh, by the way, I'll, I got to say real quick, we're having some issues with YouTube so if you could stick around to the end of the video, I'll talk more about that because we need your help with trying to figure out what's going on. Anyway, you know, if you like the kind of stuff that we bring to you and you want to help out the dental tools, it's not going to cost you anything. Just need you to check some of the settings and whether you're seeing some stuff. Anyway, back to the table saws. So this is not the only table saw we have coming out. In fact, I've got news on three table saws. One, two, three, count them three. The second one is in the good category. So we're going straight from the top down the lower tier, and we've got the Warrior, the new table saw there coming out. This is the replacement for the old, uh, as I like to call it, the uh, the Finger Slicer 3000. Uh, it, this Now, it's no longer on Harbor Freight's website. You can see a pic of it with the old uh, table saw dust bag here. That's the traditional saw in a plastic box, if you will. Uh, in fact, I got a, a slightly bigger image here, not better, but... It's the old coupon. We saw it selling for $130 and $140 uh, on sale for $115. Now, I'm expecting the new saw to come out for a, a good bit more than that. And the reason for that is that uh, the tariffs that are in place, okay, those have not gone away. Despite what you know, all politicians said when Trump imposed those tariffs, now that Biden's in office, he's not made one whisper about changing them. So we can expect those to stick, you know, through for at least the remainder of this year, if who knows how long. Uh, anyway, the point is that we got the Warrior coming in here now. This is definitely a step up from the from the old Chicago Electric. There, it's a 15 amp, 2.5 horsepower. <laughs> oh, good. 
the horsepower rating of these things kill me. This is not a 2.5 horsepower, but 10 inch table saw. And, and don't blame Harbor Freight. They all fudge the numbers on this sort of thing. But anyway, 120 volt, 4250 RPM. Uh, let me look at my notes here so I can easier to read some of the other stuff. Motor easily, motor easily cuts through a variety of tough materials. Zero to 45 bevel adjustment for accurate cuts every time. Three by three sixteen max cup depth, adjustable rip fence. Uh, uh, the capacity got cut off. It's not going to be, you're not going to be ripping sheets of plywood with this thing. All right. This is your basic entry level DIY wire kind of bench top table saw. Okay. Yeah. You can get a stand for it, but this is not your traditional job site kind of saw. Um, it, they're not bad. They're not as bad as I may joke and stuff. Uh, because I always say you want to get the biggest table saw that you can possibly lay your paws on because that's where you're going to get your accurate cuts. It's going to be safer that whole nine yards. Now, and what do I mean by that? Well, let's talk about the third table saw we have coming out. Now, this one, I don't have nearly the same kind of information on as far as pictures or anything else. Here's what I do know. I know the brand name. It's going to be under Admiral. Yep, the only thing we've seen from Admiral so far is the sliding miter saw, which for the money is pretty good. It's definitely in that, you know, weekend warrior to prosumer kind of range. It's a great saw, uh, and hopefully the table saw is going to match it. Now, I reached out to contact at Har Harbor Freight once I found out about this, and I really, you know, laid into them about it. I'm like, I need more information. And all they could tell me is, it's going to be later in the year. Now, clearly, these other two, we got shelf tags for them. So the Hercules and the Warrior are going to be coming out much sooner. I'm guessing in March, probably, we're going to see these, if not sooner. But the Admiral is going to be later in the year. Now, I said, is this going to be another compact table saw? Is I said, please tell me it's going to be at least a rolling stand job site, you know, full-size job site table saw, because that at least has some, 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 uh, uh, you know, some size to it and some weight, and it's going to be a little bit easier to use for most most home, you know, gamer types. And they said, no, it's going to be, quote unquote, a shop saw. Now, we don't know exactly what that means, but here's what I can say. This will not be the first time that Harbor Freight has done a home shop saw. Now, back in Grandpappy's day, that this is, yep, this is a Harbor Freight uh, table saw. This is under the Central Machinery brand. Back when they used to make some serious kind of kind of products. Now this looks like a cabinet saw. It's not a cabinet saw. It's what they call a hybrid style. It's really a. It's got a good core box kind of saw on a on a sheet metal stand. It's got stamped steel wings. It's got the tube fence. Not not a great fence. You see these on Craigslist all the time. I'd honestly advise against you know buying these because the the core is nice. But you gotta, you'd have to upgrade the wings. You need to upgrade the fence. You probably want a better stand on it. By the time you do all that, you're looking at in the realm of a saw like this. And I'll be honest, I have been pestering Harbor Freight for as long as they've been talking to me. I've been pestering them for one of these saws, for this, for this level of saw to compete with Lowe's because Lowe's is the only other you know, brick and mortar retail out there, big chain store that's really selling a traditional full-size shop table saw now you can order them from home depot the rigid has one i'm not a huge fan of their fence style on this this has got a traditional t-square style fence and my gosh uh, you know i was like i don't know maybe harbor freight can get it get that if they can come out with you know uh with a, a uh, what do you call it with the hercules you know rack and pinion fence i think they can manage the shop style fence <laughs> What do you say? Anyway, back to what I was saying before. I put posted in the, the community section the other day a comment that we're having issues with, with YouTube. Basically, get this, for the past year, for 12 months exactly, all of our videos have essentially been delisted. You can't search for the videos. If you do a search for anything do, Denna Tools related, you won't find anything that is not a year or more older. You can even search for the exact name of the video and you won't find it. The video we did last week, no more coupons from Harbor Freight. If you do a search for that, no more coupons from Harbor Freight, uh, you won't find our video. Even if you sort by views, it's the highest viewed video on that category. 
it won't show up. It's just gone. And so are all our other videos for the past year. Now, if you go to our channel page, they're there. They're not gone. They've just been removed from search and from suggested and from notifications. Apparently only 0.5% of our viewers are getting notified. So if you did get notified, I'd like to hear a comment down below saying you got notified. If you didn't get notified, let us know about that. Check your, your subscribe, you know, have you subscribed? And then also the bell, there's different levels on the bell. What level are you on the bell? One of the things I have noticed is a lot of the people who are saying that they did get notified are premium members. So if you did get notified or if you are a premium member, let me know if you got notified about this video. Anyway, that's all the, the help we really need. We just need feedback so we can push back on YouTube to say, hey, this is a real problem and uh, we need you to get on top of it. All right. Anyway, thanks for your help. We really appreciate all the support you've given the den over the, you know, the past years. And so five years now we've been on YouTube. We love you guys. And we know that you're always, you got our back just like we got yours. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, come on, say it with me. Shine on.